very nervous right now, actually. Real people being in there and messing with my head. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, this is real small. It's a change room. <laughs> we opened our escape room back in August 2016. Uh, my husband Joe came up with the idea and pitched it to our best friends. I loved adventure games growing up, and what started as a hobby turned into the number one escape room in the country. So, welcome everybody to our Victorian Homeless Spring Halls. It's such a new concept, people don't really know what it is. I don't really know what to expect. Oh my God. Oh my God. An escape room is an interactive adventure and you are given a task of figuring out how to escape. So everyone has to work together okay, hold on. I found something else. to solve the puzzles and escape the predicament that you're in. To find my code, just use your hand to connect these points to understand. The games can take up to nine months to build. We like to make it really feel that you're in a different place. You can join your friends, you can book a single ticket and join other people that you don't know. It really is a team effort and it's a lot of fun. Oh. Enchanted is really for everybody. It's just a fun thing for everybody to really enjoy. Our containment bridge game is our entry level game. That one has about a 35% escape rate. Our Whispering Halls is a little harder, and that one has about a 20% escape rate. And our Skull Witch game is our hardest game, and that game has a 10% escape rate. Uh, people come out really excited. It was cool, it was intense, it was intense. A lot of detailed pieces. It was excited when we found it. I got this, I got that. Okay, what does this go to? I thought I was gonna be more scared, but I think I was so excited and in the game. I'm glad I pushed myself out of my comfort zone, meet new people, and it's definitely an experience. If you're on the fence, get off that fence. Get in the room. Get in the room, yes. <laughs>